Greetings, welcome, and salutations. I am theme song fan, blah, 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 call me Rudy. I have opted to record this urgent and 100% totally unsarcastically serious video as rapidly as I possibly can so that I can get this incredibly important message out into the world within the next two days. Why within the next two days? Well, I'll explain that in just a second. But first, let me state for the record that this singular video is intended for three completely different audiences for three completely different reasons. The first audience I'm speaking to are my rude, crude, not particularly SFW friends I've been trying to mind shackle into HeroScape with various degrees of success. I've been reposting the daily news updates from Avalon Hill's server into our server every day, including weekends, for a few weeks now, and I am currently only two days behind the most recent post. To you, my friends, I wanted you to see my face as I provide you the update from two days ago, Monday, September the 19th of 2022, and know that I am so sorry for what you are about to witness. The second audience I am speaking to are any future Heroescapers who ever wondered about the origins of a particular meme within the Heroescapers community. A meme which, at the time of writing this, may not have been set in stone just yet, but I suspect probably will be when this video goes public, for which I apologize again. And the third audience are you Heroescapers of the Heroescapers community in present day, as I record and post this, to whom I seek to take partial responsibility for Monday's rather bizarre events, and apologize with not, but the humblest of sincerity for my thoughtless statement. Before I get into what exactly happened on Monday, for which I feel so strong a need to apologize, for the sake of the first two audiences, allow me to backpedal and provide a bit of context. It is a glorious age to be a Heroescaper, with Avalon Hill having announced the coming of Age of Annihilation and posting news updates every weekday in their Discord server. As my friends know, if they've been paying attention at all, which, for all I know, maybe they haven't. These updates have come primarily in the form of concept art with lore blurbs, but recently there have been a couple of bonuses featuring 3D renderings of the Heroescape models to come, specifically the Lich Lord, Pirate Queen Bonnie, and the Melter Deathforge. Or the Hellforge Mandacore. I don't know what, what names will stick long term at the time of recording this. What my friends, and probably the Heroescapers of the future, do not know is the lore behind how these bonus renderings are being released. There is, at this time, a running gag in the Heroescapers Discord involving two of Avalon Hill's employees. And Carmine, who has been posting the concept art and lore, and Intergalactic Patrick, who recently started posting the 3D renderings. The story goes that Intergalactic Patrick has started breaking into Incarmine's files to snag 3D renderings from time to time and leak them out to us when Incarmine's not looking. How true or false that is, I don't know, but that's the joke and it's important to know who the players involved in this story are. Fast forward back to the day that we are all concerned about, Monday, and Intergalactic Patrick once again offers to slip into Incarmine's files and let leak a peek. Now, someone half unironically asked for pics of Unit's feet. And this was not me, so I do not take full responsibility for what follows. For all I know, perhaps Intergalactic Patrick might have ignored this request if others had asked for something more reasonable. But no, rather than anyone attempt to de-escalate the situation in time, a certain smartass with cringy humor decided to up the cringe by saying, and I quote, Specifically, Morrow feet. Wow, this is just wow. Who thought for a moment that would be funny? All right, I did. It came much to my shock, horror, and absolute embarrassment then when Intergalactic Patrick actually did the unthinkable and posted Morrow feet. I immediately scrambled to backpedal and prayed that the meme would die, but no, 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 my friends. It got worse. It got worse. Because once those Morrow feet went up, an increasingly large number of Heroescapers took an unironic fascination in them. Not in any dirty way, mind you. No, no, no. They were fascinated by the color and what possible implications it may have. You see, up until this point, we had only seen art for one Morrow. 
the moral captain of the Dawn Raider Syndicate. However, we had also been told that the new Hero Skate figures would have a base paint job that matched the Valkyrie General they served. So, what did that mean for these Utgar Red Maro feet? Did it mean that all members of the Dawn Raider Syndicate who refused to serve any Valkyrie General would be this particular shade of red? Did it mean that individuals within the Dawn Raider Syndicate would be colored based on the Valkyrie who first summoned them, rather than their current allegiance to none of the above? Or could it be that this was a tease for a Morrow we had not yet seen? Not to the Morrow Captain of the Dawn Raiders, but rather an all-new unit loyal to Utgar. In order to quell the arguments and conspiracy theories, the Heroescapers turned to Intergalactic Patrick for answers. And Intergalactic Patrick, fearful of the feet-crazed mob he had unleashed, ran off to confess his crime to Encarmine. Encarmine, in turn, came to squash all inaccurate theories in the most trollish way possible by posting three more pairs of multicolored feet and stating in no uncertain terms that they all belonged to Dawn Raiders. As all of this developed over the course of the day while I was at work, I would peek into the server every so often to see the hell spawned from my one-off meme and occasionally spot someone ask, what the hell happened? And then someone else respond, someone asked for moral feet. So to my friends and to all Heroescapers, present and future, I offer the deepest of apologies for bringing us an update of not one, not two, not three, but four pairs of feet, starting with those of Amaro. I am so sorry. No, wait, hold on. Six. There are six. And Carmine added two more later on in the day. So yeah, the meme's still not dead. <laughs>